Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Croft Park for today's Vanderbilt National League North tie between Blythe Spartans and Hereford FC here at Croft Park. Spartans just waiting to do a couple of their big things before kick off. There's a, a few announcements to be made, a few awards to be handed out, and I'm sure the, the man to tell you is Phil Castillo what's going on down there. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, Eddie Alder here, uh, Sanford Blythe in the mid 60s, my hero, Spartan of, of all time, is here to present Robbie Day uh, in terms of Robbie's. That seems to be the only change from the side that drew one all against Bradford Park Avenue as we are underway here. And it's played towards the left-hand side by Herod. Flick on, goes to the feet of Nicholson. Long ball by Yates. Tracked by Lang. It falls in the path of Nicholson. Ooh, it's a poor ball. Here's a chance for Herod. Buttles in the penalty area. It's with Richardson. It's turned behind by Buttle. And that's West Barton's let himself down at the back. Green can't control it and it's taken off by Richards. Outside the foot, inside played the ball to Thomas and cleared by Hereford. Lang gets in front of his man and loses possession and he's away and here's a chance here for Tom Owen Evans. He's one-on-one -on -one with Jameson. Owen Evans shoots it in the bottom left-hand corner and it's 1-0. And that all started from the losing possession on halfway and Hereford take the lead. You could almost see him coming the quarter out. The crowd got obliged back a little bit then, they lost the ball and broke free and uh, Buddle was 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 bypassed basically, but the uh, Owen Evans did really well to finish at the end because he often seen Peter Jameson stopping those ones, but it, it was uh, it was a good finish. Yeah, I think he went under the keeper in the end. The corner. Unlike most teams, there's no height advantage for the opposition here. Oliver whips the ball in back post and Maguire tries to go up, it's gonna fall to Robbie Dale. And Robbie Dale gets it back out to Oliver, inside the penalty area now, floats the ball back in. Maguire heads it to the bar, it's cleared off the line. And what a saving header that is on the line, I believe. Is it? It's, uh, it's whoever's down in the <laughs> down in the penalty area. Yeah. He's back to us. It might be old, so I'm not sure. Ball whipped in right foot, near post. It's turned goalwards, it's off the line by Jamie Holmes. As it came through everyone and cleared out to Nicholson Spartans starting to get the foothold now starting to get the ball on the ground out with Robbie Dale on the right hand side Robbie Dale's got green slate for company Robbie Dale couple a check to step over gets in the penalty Robbie Dale goes past another one down line Robbie Dale chips the ball in and it's headed away a good header in there it's going to fall in the penalty area it's going to fall in Reed Sean Reed shoots it's blocked that's the area Reed's trying to track it now no one as he advances down the left hand side cuts it inside the home it's back to Oliver still in Spartans territory Ball over the top by Oliver. Tries to find Little. It's a good ball in the end. Little heads it back in the path of Maguire. Maguire brings it down, goes past his man. Maguire to the edge of the penalty area. Through ball in the path of Reed. Sean Reed turned away and Yates makes a fine save again. And Yates seems to be really aware of coming to the edge of his six yard box. Reed chests it down. And then gets away just down the right hand side. It's just closed down well by O'Sullivan. Green feigns across, gets it inside the bottle. Bottle's got a step. Floats the ball in towards the back post. Lang! Oh, he's missed the sitter. Lang's six yards out and heads off target. Oates has it now right hand side. Oates has to turn back and then turns Oliver. Tries to ball the top. That's a good ball in the end. Finds man straight. Entry the penalty area is Owens Evans. Tries a shot and he was looking for a second. It wasn't too far away. Yeah, Gowling is picking up a booking. The, the free kick is right on the angle. Little scored against Lancaster from a similar position. Michael Little steps up, kills it. It's wide. Oh, that was close. The ace was scampering across there, wasn't it? Nice coming forward with the ball, Louis Lang. We saw him here at the club previously, didn't we? He just yeah. didn't tend to overdo it either. So, 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 so. Maguire is in the penalty area. So you interrupt your shoots. Has turned behind as he went for the near post. And Dan Maguire. And it's another corner to Blythe Spartans. Maguire brings two out of the penalty area. Can Spartans get a leveler before the break? Oliver floats the ball in. It's on Yates again. Punched away. It's going to fall to Holmes. And he just falls about. It's going to fall there. Lang gets it out to Green. Green takes a touch and he stumbles. Free kick. It's a penalty. It should be a penalty. It was in the penalty area. Smith heads away. It's going to come to Green. Green takes a big touch, gets away from his man. Green 
35 yards from goal. Tries to throw a ball into Maguire. Maguire's in the penalty area. Shoots. It's over the bar. He's missed an absolute sitter as Dan Maguire. I think it's bobbled in front of him. And he's missed a golden opportunity here. Oliver. Throws the ball towards the back post. It's headed goalwards. It's headed off the line again from Buttle again. Ball's on the edge area. Green. Tries to float the ball in. It's wide of the target. But another clearance off the line. Not quite sure who that was. Uh, someone said at half time Buddle wins the header and how's that a foul Buddle's won the header cleanly and then a foul's given come on John Matthews be fair oh no it's not a fan I thought that was going to come on John Matthews he's the star of the show so far which and there's a foul on Simmons again probably there ball over the top Oh, and Evans in the penalty area Buddle gets in front of his man clears the ball into the penalty area straight to Simmons who fires over the bar and Nathan Buddle just set up Mike Simmons and on comes George Lloyd. You know, you're right what you're just saying there. I mean, you know, fans come and we want to see a flowing game as far as possible. And the referee just delaying it. Ball in the penalty area. Head up near by Simmons. Falls to Oates. Tries a volley and it's well blocked in the end by Michael Little. And it's going to be a corner to Hereford. And there's a player just free at the back post. Richards is just free at the back post. Corner comes in. Oates heads in the bottom left hand corner and it's 2 0. And all Spartans hard work in this first half. Uh, this is the first half of this second half is undone by a simple set piece. And Oates is a right back, a small right back, and here should be some yellow cards because they're celebrating in the crowd. Yeah, it was a good header to be, to be honest from the free kick. Maybe t t too much, uh, too easy for the Oates to score, but he, he took it really well into the uh, inside side netting, as it were. But yeah, as I said, Blythe is starting to dominate, but just in the last couple of minutes, hopefully we're back in it, but a bit harsh on Blythe, hard on Blythe, really, that uh, second goal. Yeah, it's been harsh on Blythe, but Hereford taking the chances, the Spartans have got to reply now, they've got to turn this one on. You know, talk about dealing with players, you said, um, coming to the street. I mean, the ref should be over there breaking that up. Clearance only as far as Green. Green takes a touch. Green finds Reed. Reed was on his haunches there for a second. Gets it out to Wrightson on the right. Wrightson, low cross. Right to Maguire. Maguire gets it in front of him. Maguire shoots. It's wide in the upright. And it's not Maguire's day. It's going to come in the path here. Lang's got to deal with it. Does so. Cleared. Maguire's nearly broke through here. Maguire. And it's well intercepted in the end by. Oh, it's a to Green. Green, good little chop, good Cruyff, gets away from his man, gets away from one. Green, edge of the area, shoots, it's in the back line, it's under the keeper. Kieran Green has hit one under Yates from 20 yards out. Let's go, let's have a lifeline. Absolutely vital we've got to go back at this time. Great run by Green, he's a fantastic run today. But I've got to say, I think Matt Yates might be a bit disappointed in the Hereford goal, seeing to go through him, but it's struck a pace. It was struck, struck on. It was, it was similar to Charles Rivers earlier season against Kirsten, where that went under the keeper. Finds Reed. Back to Nicholson. Finds Reed. Reed's got space to turn and run. In the path of Maguire. Maguire, good turn. Maguire shoots. What a save that is by. What a stunning save that is by Matt Yates. Sticks out a palm. It was going in the bottom left hand corner. Bunnell wins that header. Ball over the top. Headed away by Smith. Green tries to go in there, ball over the top, he's offside. The ball goes through, and a chip finish, what a finish that is. What a goal that is. He was offside, it looked offside, but it's finished well in the end by the substitute George Lloyd. Lobs, Jameson, but for me, that's offside every day of the week. Looked offside to me, um, yard, three a yard offside. Uh, to be honest, the Bly team aren't objecting to it at all, but yeah, it looked it to me, that's for sure. Yeah, no complaints from the Spartans back line, but that looked a good yard offside to me. It did to me, as I just said, man, it was a lovely lob finish on the set of that. We were high, high. Nicholson's got to track that run. And well done by Green in the end, finds Reed. Reed gets it out to Wrighton. Wrighton goes past his man like he's not even there. Wrighton towards the end of the penalty area. Wrighton in the penalty area. Wrighton shoots, what a save again by Smith. Not by Smith, by Yates. Yates has made two crucial saves. It just hasn't fallen for Spartans this afternoon. Reed wins the header. Flick on by Green. Green's got to be careful though, he's on a booking. Down around the corner. Green in the centre circle, goes away from one. Green 
Oh, left hand side, tries to throw a ball in the path of Fuster. It's in the back, oh, it's off of the crossbar. They're forced it, and it's in the back of the for Fuster. And Spartans have another goal back, is it? I don't know how to explain that. The defender going back tries to clear it, smashes it off his own crossbar, and it falls to Fuster, who turns it home, but it's too late. It's too late, but it was quite a sensational football, wasn't it? And Fuster took it very, very well because it came back off the started back off the crossbar. And look at it, he hit it with his outside of his right foot, high into the top corner of the net. Wins the header. And there's the full time whistle. Hereford have picked up the winner date. Spartans probably deserved something out of the game, but Hereford had three chances, took all three superbly. Yeah, they were clinical. Uh, probably weren't maybe quite as clinical, but Yates and the Hereford goal had a few stunning game. By no means a vintage Blythe performance, but I said when they're 2 0 down, did Blythe have the character to get back in the game? And they nearly got back in the game, they pulled one back and they kept on going to the end. I think you've got to take that as very much as a positive. I mean, you said at one point, Stuart and Coventry and Blythe looked nervy at the back. Did they miss Jordan Watson? Don't know, might have just been one of those games from the defence's point of view. But onwards and southwards to Leighton Orient on Saturday, see what happens there.